Hey, how we doing everybody? I appreciate you taking time out of your day to stop by and check this one out. So I just got home from work here and I feel like doing some cutting. And just so happens, I got a big pile of silver maple over here that needs cut. Uh, if y'all caught the last video where we uh, did the IBC tote shed, I showed in that video a trailer full of silver maple. Now this came from one of Evan's teachers that contacted Evan at school and said he had a silver maple cut down and he really didn't know what he was going to do with the wood and he wanted to know if Evan would come over and take a look at it because he knew he sold firewood. So Evan said, yeah, I can come by and take a look at it. Um, he seen it from the road and didn't think there was that much there. And uh, after we got over there there was a lot more than what we thought but anyway we went ahead and it took us about 35 minutes to get that loaded up i still need to process it because as you can see some of it there is long it was already cut up but you know how it goes with free when when people don't sell firewood they pay no attention but the good thing about all this is is it's at least 18 16 18 inches so there's not a lot of it that's already too short that we can't use so i'm gonna get the 261 out and make that all look pretty and uh what an awesome story that was evan's teacher said can you come get the wood and the next day he said you need to come see me in my classroom i got something for you not only did he give evan that wood he gave him a hundred dollar bill for coming and picking it up so i thought that was really really nice so that's the plan, and one more thing, I'll take you over here and show you, if I don't make you dizzy here, how the IBC tote shed turned out, so stick with me. All right, now I know I put a short out, but uh, some of you that didn't catch that short turned out great, and he's already sold. He had that whole back wall full in there. When we put it in there, he had it pretty well full up the back wall, and he had... 45 bundles in there and it probably could have held about 10 to 15 more um, and like I said we put this band around it we took the old storage container that he had for his uh, bundles and when we took that apart we took the bladder out of it and just cut a strip off and just zip tied it right through the middle there so we keep water out of there so so far, it's working out great, and I know some of you guys hit me in the comments and said, why didn't you just uh, cut this IBC tote right around here and take that top rail off, and that would have sandwiched that down to where I wouldn't have needed that strip in there. And I thought about doing that, but I didn't want to ruin the IBC tote just in case this idea didn't work the greatest. So now I've still got an IBC tote uh, that's regular size if i want to sell it get rid of them later on if the you know how firewood goes it's constantly changing so there it is and we got a couple totes sitting there just setting off to the side and a couple more over here that we're going to be putting ugly splits in so let's get some cutting done <laughs>
Well, there you go, everybody. The cutting is complete. So I got a pretty nice pile of rounds. I'll just walk along here, salvaged out of that. And over here, this is all the good stuff. You'll see what I've got for ugly splits. So that'll probably fill a tote though, them ugly splits pile here. Probably tomorrow night when I get home from work. As you can see, the sun was already setting behind me. Probably tomorrow night I'll get the splitter out here and bust those all up. That'll probably fill a tote, like I said. And then over here where the 261 is setting, I got some... Uh, the piece that the 261 is setting on will be good, but a lot of these over here are short. And I got one more piece right here I made the last cut on that's also good. So, all in all... That's a pretty good score for free firewood and to get paid to remove it. So, Evan made out on that one. Well, all right, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. I appreciate you guys coming along with me. Just what I was getting done after work a little bit every day. And the reason I'm wanting to get this cleaned up is if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I've been cutting right next door, right over here where that sun is setting. There's an island of woods over there, right behind those two big trees. If you could see them treetops sticking up low, there's an island of woods over there that we've been cutting in. And the farmer called me two days ago and said he's got a backhoe on the way. So 
he asked me if there was anything else I was interested in over there. And of course I said, well, all of it. So uh, I actually know I went to school with the guy that's going to be clearing it. So he's going to call me and I'm going to get with him. And uh, if I'm not able to be there, he knows what trees I want out of there. There's at least four to five more walnuts, uh, a couple mulberries and a couple hackberries in there. And although I'm not going to hold him up on the job, if he pushes them over, I'll cut the tops out, cut the root ball off, and he's just going to make a pile for me. So appreciate you guys being here. And until next time, get outside. We'll see you.